So this shoe just shot drop yesterday in a sneaker stop event where they were showing um, all the upcoming Jordans for the summer 2024. A lot of dope shoes right there. And they made like three shock drops and I got only one W. And I gotta say, it was my least favorite one. I got the W on the shoe that I was not interested in. And not because I think it's a bad shoe, because actually it's nice. It's a nice shoe, but I'm gonna tell you the reasons why this was my least favorite shoe of all the shoes that they shot drop yesterday. Um, I'm also gonna review the shoes, show you how they look and feed, and talk a little bit about the details and all the things you want to know about this shoe. But before we go into all that, please let me ask you to go and hit the thumbs up if you like the content. Also go and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Activate the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video, which is every single day, guys. So, so go follow me on my Instagram, hand on TikTok, as Jason J Kicks. And now, let's begin this review. So these are the Jordan 1 High Team Red, at least that's how the internet was calling this shoe, but Nike um, called this shoe with another name in the event of yesterday. I don't remember that name, I'm gonna put it right here, but I'm gonna call them Team Red just because that was the name that I known these shoes for at first. But yeah, whatever the name of the shoe is, it's a nice shoe that comes in this Team Red or Wine Red box that match the shoe perfectly. You know, I'm a huge fan of matching boxes for the shoes, even though I don't care that much about the box because I ain't gonna wear the box anyway. But it's super nice to have a box that um, help us identify the shoe easier when we have a ton of shoe boxes and we want to wear the shoes. You just see the color of the box and you'll be like, that's a shoe. And you just go and wear the shoes anyway. Um, yeah, the box, I show you, matching box, but the shoes, whew, they're nice, they're nice. These are nice. Yes, these are nice. Yes, these are nice, man. Let me put the box right here. To go with the shoe right here. These are the Jordan 1 High Team Red, and these are nice. The color blocking is super good. It's the storm blue color blocking or the um, original UMC Jordan 1 color blocking is the same one. This time we have the shoe in this team red color doing contrast with um, the white toe, white side panel and the white ankle area of the shoe. This is one of my favorite color blockings, but I don't think this was the right color blocking for these shoes specifically. And the reason why I'm saying this is the same reason why I said earlier that this was my least favorite shoe between all the three shoes that they shot drop yesterday. In case you don't know, on that sneaker sap event, they were showing all the upcoming releases for the summer 2024 and they make three shock drop on that event. First time they do it, I was there. I tried for all three of them. They released in a shock drop, the Jordan 1 Low Shadow. Those were my most anticipated one. I really love those, you know, how much I love Jordan 1 Lows. Then they released this one. This was actually the first one, they shock drop. The second one was the Shadow and the third one was the um, Green Glow ones. Super nice and clean those one as well, but the Shadow was the main shoe that I wanted and I took an L on the Shadows and on the Green Glows, but I hate on these. And why was this my least favorite shock drop shoe from yesterday? It's because this shoe is very, very similar to a few shoes Jordan 1 specifically, that has been releasing in the past month, past years, let's say. Just a few months ago, we have this shoe right here. Look at that. Very similar shoes, both of these, same color blocking, 
almost same colorway. Yes, it's a different shade of that red. This one is more like a purple, but they're way too similar. You know what I'm talking about? Way too similar. It's the same shoe. They just replaced the color and giving us the shoes back again. But if this is not similar enough for you, just a few years ago, they released this one right here. And I'm talking about the Jordan One High Burgundy. Take a look at my Burgundy boys. One of my favorite shoes in my collection. And take a look at this. Again, not the same shade of color, but very, very similar. The similarities between these three right here, I mean, just look at them together. It's like three different shade of color of the same shoe. And it's the fact that they are way too similar to keep them all in the collection. You know what I'm talking about now? Way too similar shoes we listen over and over and over, way too close one to the other. Because if they released, like the first one was this one, my Burgundy Boys. If they released like this one four years later, and then this one five years later, will be dope because this one will be like beat up by the time. But this one just came out like two years ago. This one came out like what? three, four months ago, and now we're getting these, it's like way too close one to the other. That's my only problem, which take me to the next point that I was saying earlier, and is the color blocking of this one. We can't have all these similar shoes coming back to back to back with the same color blocking and everything way too similar in colorway. When Jordan Brand could do a really good move with this one just by changing the color blocking a little bit. All they needed to do, and we can do it, we can customize the shoe and do what I'm about to tell you. All they needed to do with this one was put the ankle area with black and the swoosh as well. Yes, I'm talking about the Chicago color blocking. Will be super dope to have this shoe right here with a Chicago color blocking. Very similar they will look like, I know, but I think it's a little bit better. It will be a lot doper to have a Chicago color blocking with this type of a burgundy or team red color instead of having another shoe way too similar to these two right here. Are you going with me? Let me know how you feel about that in the comment section, guys. This is my opinion only, probably, but that's really how I feel about this shoe. I'm not saying I don't like them. I'm just saying they are way too similar to shoes that released way too recently. Chicago color blocking for this one will be a lot doper, but yeah. Now that we have these two right here, let me show you something that got me really, really happy with the new versions of the Jordan 1s. In case you didn't know, these two Jordan 1s are not exactly identical. They changed some things here and there, um, the new models of the Jordan 1 highs that we've been getting since the Lost and Founds Jordan 1 Chicago's. It's not only the new Wings logo, also the shape of the shoe is a bit different, but the main thing that I love from these new versions is the tongue. Take a look at the tongue on these new shoes. Let me know if you can notice the difference right here. Now take a look at the tongue on the old versions of the shoe. This tongue, and you can see it right here, a lot of times slide to a side, and that's something that aesthetically didn't look that good when you're wearing the shoes with jeans. Now with these, the tongue always stays right there on the middle, and that's something that I really appreciate. Let me know if you were struggling with most of the Jordan 1s with this issue that I just mentioned with the previous version of the Jordan 1 high. And let me know if you knew these new details included in the Jordan 1s. I can make a full video talking about all the differences, but you gotta let me know if you wanna see it, guys. Now, the shoe is dope. Quality-wise, what you're going to get, the same thing that you got on this one. That nice leather on this one, it's not premium or anything, but it's the same leather quality that we have on this one. I told you, they just replaced this color with this color and giving us the same exact shoe. Not bad. They just look way too similar and the release time is just way too close. That's my only problem with this shoe, but I like it, it's nice. 
this will look a lot cleaner with the white laces just like I have them on this one. But let me know your opinion about this. Is you hit on the shock drop? Are you gonna go for this come release date? Let me know all that in the comment section. Super clean pair of shoes, a good shoe to have if you don't have any of these, especially these. And between these two, which one is your favorite? I think quality wise, none of these shoes can beat the burgundies. These are hella clean, super dope. That silver swoosh and the Wings logo on this one make this one a lot more special than both of these shoes. But let me know which of these three is your favorite in the comment section, guys. Thank you a lot for watching the video. I show you how they look and fit and everything, the details. Super amazing shoe. I'll probably go and do a more in-depth review on this one a little later. Stay tuned for the own feet. Stay tuned for the lace swap video on this shoe. And let me know which color laces would you like to see outside of the white ones, which is the obvious one. Let me know in the comment section, guys. Thank you a lot for watching the video. And till the next one, guys. This one's still my favorite. But this is dope. This is super dope. That's all I'm saying. Goodbye.